All right, so hello and welcome back to another video. Um, today's gonna be part three of the tray build. So we, I just ended the other one, um, which I would have uploaded a couple days ago by now because um, it's gonna be raining for the next four days, so this one's gonna be a bit late. Um, but we're halfway, as you would have seen at the end of the other one, halfway through doing this back plate so we can put lights and stuff on today. Um, and then we'll do the bed and the headboard checker plate um, probably another day when it's not raining. Um, and do some paint and then we just need to wait for some guards and some toolboxes and should be done so i don't know if it's all going to get done in part three but we'll try and get it all done but if it doesn't fit then i guess it'll be a part four so all right so now fighting the weather today it was raining all morning but then the sun came out so i thought it was going to be all right but it started raining again but so it's going to do what we can so start with I'm just doing these um, tail lights at the moment. I've just done those two. Um, gonna do these this side now. Um, and then we'll do number plate, number plate lights, and then we'll try and wire it all up. Gotta go to Bunnings and get some bolts to bolt the tray down, just because so then I can actually drive the car around. It will be a bit sketchy with these guards. I might actually um, get a bit of that spare checker plate and try and make something just to cover that for the time being um, until I get some new guards, which I'll probably order today, so yeah. So only the tail lights and blinkers are screwed in. Um, these are gonna be reverse lights, obviously. That's why I don't have the little strips. Um, and then I just don't have screws to put these ones up, but they'll sit above the number plate for number plate lights, like the number plate up. Um, but yeah, now we just pretty much need to go Bunnings and get screws to hold them all in. Um, and some electrical tape so we can try and do some taping, maybe some sleeves to run the tape, the cords through so it's not real messy um, and some bolts to bolt it down and so then I might just try and make some quick temporary freaking guards just for now um, so that I can actually drive the car at that point and then yeah we can focus on doing the checker plate and stuff like that after and then paint it so okay so just finished doing wiring and stuff I'll chuck a bit bad lighting but I'll chuck it on here See, wiring's probably not the best thing, but it works. Um, and once the tray's on, you won't see under there unless you're looking under, but yeah, we've just done the wiring. Um, it does have to come back off. I might tie it up a little bit more just around these things. i figure something out um, when it comes time to painting it. But for now, it all works. And yeah, so we'll get Craig to chuck a quick demo, turn this one off. Turn lights on, brakes, blinkers, Reverse. Yeah. All right, so don't know um, what I was up to last night. I think I showed just the lights working. Um, but basically, now I'm just gonna screw this fuel cap up here, which is actually really good because I was wondering how the hell I was gonna get this to mount. But it has these little pieces from factory where it mounts to the tub, so. I can just screw those up onto there. Okay, so this is where we're at at the moment. Um, I'll jump up here and I'll show you what I'm doing. So, I've just been going along this edge here and um, finding where 
it is overlapping a tiny bit and just putting a little bit of a mark on there and that's just where I've been um, grinding off just to make it fit okay so now that's trimmed up and fits in there nice and snug there's a little bit of a gap at the top but can't really do much about it I'm gonna do measure this piece up and cut that um, then after that it's back to taking the taking it back off so that we can weld these on here and paint it up so we're getting there and So, I just seen it, just trucked them up there. Um, needs to come, like that side needs to go up a little bit and it'll be a bit straighter and it'll fill that hole. Um, but it, it is gonna have to come up a bit more. So this will probably come up to there. So, might just get away with this side, um, but then that side's gonna need a trim up. Um, but, yeah, when we put little supports under here to help hold it up so that this side of the tray doesn't go down like it is over there. Just need to put a little 40 by 40 bit under there just to hold that. Um, I might chuck one or two in here somewhere but I don't want to add too much weight. Um, but yeah, we'll trim that down once we actually get to the welding side of it. And yeah, so put some stuff under here. I guess the next part of this video will probably be tomorrow might rip the tray back off again um, and put those little bits of support and stuff in there and yeah okay so basically gonna take the tray back off now so I can weld the checker plate up and give it a paint tomorrow um, so I've stripped all the lights back out and taken our little homemade guards off undone the fuel thing so now we just need to undo the bolts and we can take it off so I'm gonna do that now got these little bits just here um, put them on, welded them on there just then um, just because it's going to be a little bit more supports for the checker plate because when I put it on you could push it down a little bit um, in these spots I didn't have enough to do that part I only had enough to do the front so it supports the front up and then these back bits I didn't have ones for those but eventually the um, box is going to be there anyway and I'll probably um, end up going along and putting the support um, along the middle there as well um, eventually but for now we're not going to bother about it we're just going to chuck the checker plate on there now and weld it up on this side so that we can flip it over and do the other side um. <laughs> So the camera turned off for some reason, not sure why, um, don't know where it got up to but basically I tucked, chucked some welds on top of this um, and now I've just been doing this um, headboard but I ran out of wire so I'm going to have to go get some more wire um, and then continue it so yeah see what I can do there. Alright so just quick update, flip the tray over so that we could um, start welding the bottom. They're all welded up. Just going to chuck a couple welds along um, this piece here, and then I might just chuck some primer on it so they can start to dry. Um, 
ready for some paint tomorrow so yeah all right so go on and put some primer and just painted the legs black just because the bottom of the deck isn't going to get a full coat of um, like more than one coat, it's going to get one coat of black and that's going to be it whereas the legs I want to have um, at least two coats on just because they are going to be seen a lot more um, so and they're probably also going to take a bit more being right next to the tyres getting smashed and stuff but yeah so see if, if I have extra paint left I might put a little bit more on the deck but on the bottom of the deck we'll see how we go um, but for now I see is tomorrow when we're going to paint the rest of this all right, so quick little update. Started painting the bottom. Obviously, it's black now. Painting the edges a wide a little bit, um, just around here, and then the um, back of this plate in white as well. And yeah, so I'm gonna actually um, finish part three here. I don't know how long it's gonna be, but um, I know I'm not gonna fit all the painting and everything into it. Um, plus, putting guards on and all that, I'm not gonna fit it into one. So I'll make part four for finish the paint, um, putting it on the car and putting the guards on it. So part four will be the final piece um, besides putting toolboxes on, but I won't make that part of this video. I'll do that in a future video and show you um, because at the moment I can't afford those. So yeah, we're gonna finish the video here. So if you've liked it, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. Um, put the notifications on. I notice a few of you did um, for this last part two they come up on my thing saying a few people um got the notification and they come and watched it so appreciate that um and yeah so i'll see you in the next one